Austin Energy has said even when power is restored on their end, some customers might have to pay out of pocket to fix problems on their property. KXN's Nabil Ramadna joins us live from Northwest Hills to show us how expensive that could be. Nabil. Well, cleanup continues here in Northwest Hills. You can see some of the branches down, but there is this power box here on the side of this homeowner's property here. It was ripped off by a falling branch, and that customer had to reach out to an electrician to get it fixed. Tree limbs line the roads in Northwest Hills. And just outside Kelsey Vance's home. It's been frustrating and really challenging. You'll find what's left of the power lines that once connected to her home. A hanging branch fell on the line, cutting off her power. Ripped it off of the wall. Earlier this week, Austin Energy highlighted this type of problem and explained why some customers have to pay to get their power back. A lot of the customers that have damage to their facilities, they'll have to enlist a, a local uh, electrician. You get really sad when you have to spend money unexpectedly. Vance and a neighbor who split the box had to pay almost $20,000. The only thing they cover is the wires coming from the pole. Everything else is a customer's property. And getting it fixed can take time. It could require city permits and inspections. They had to take everything off. Don Childers with Abacus isn't involved in Vance's work, but they've been busy. About 95% of all our, our calls are about power issues right now. Vance finally got power back on Monday night, days after her neighbors. Vance now just hoping her power holds up in the next storm. It's just nice to have everything back. And you can see some of those fallen limbs and branches here along the road behind me. These are massive trees, so easily can rip those lines out of the side of a house. We have seen some crews out here at last check. Austin Energy had about 4,500 people still without power. Reporting live in Northwest Hills, Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. All right, Nabil, thanks so much. You might be able to get some help for the damage your home suffered during last week's ice storm. The Travis County Central Appraisal District notified homeowners today that disaster-related relief for their property may be available. It's important to note, though, that you need to have suffered a minimum of 15% of the property's improvement value, and damage to landscaping or trees does not count on its own. It has to be damaged to things such as property, the structure of property. And the deadline to apply for a temporary exemption is May 22nd. You can mail that to TCAD, apply online, or in person.